Taurus, a beautiful soul. How are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirits messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you might be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you haven't yet, check him out. He's over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We will be pulling a final message from the universe. All right. So what we're experiencing here from you is that there's this... Uh, you could be in the process of deciding where you want your life to go. You could be in the process of being entangled with a whole bunch of different things. Like, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. Maybe thinking that you should be doing all of this to get to this outcome, right? Like putting that control on things. Like, okay, well, if I want this outcome and I do all these things, then that's aligned. I'm going to do it. That's it, right? But we always want to remind you that it has to come from an energy of inspiration or desire. It can't just be like you figuring it out because that will cause a lot of stress, a lot of attachment, um, a lot of, um, it's a misconception. All you have to do, and this is what Spirit Guide gifted to me the other day. I'm going to gift it to you here. I let go of all outcomes and embrace the guidance from Spirit. Let us use this as your affirmation. I let go of all outcomes and embrace the guidance from spirit because you're going to receive downloads and you're going to receive ideas and you're going to receive um, different uh, clues and puzzle pieces from the universe. Um, but you don't have to be the one to figure everything out. And when we do do that, that's when we become imbalanced, says the temperance in reverse and uh, uncertain in our path forward, says the two of wands in reverse, right? And whether this be with a relationship, a career, anything in life, it's the same blueprint. That's the good thing is that energy is energy, right? So no matter what, how, when you practice energy, um, it, 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 the outcome is, is for everything we do, relationships and so forth. So it would be a good time to claim your independence right now, beautiful soul, cat spirit. We all know cats like they're very independent creatures. And um, it'd be important to do that right now so that you can really get to the root and to the cause and to the bottom of what you desire, right? What do you actually desire? What do you want to do? What do you want to do, Taurus? What do you want to do? Not what you think you should do. Not what, not what you, you know, you know, you, you know, all busy in your mind trying to figure it out. So cute that we all try to do that. But, you know, spirit's like, you know, cute, but you don't have to. It doesn't have to be like this. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, just trust in the process. What is it that you feel if you take care of something in a day, right? You take care of that task or you do that thing and it leaves you feeling satisfied and accomplished. That's a good thing, right? That's good. But if you walk into a circumstance or a space, your job or your home life, and you're, you're all caught up in thinking about this other thing, so you're not present, that's not going to feel satisfying, right? So you want to remember anything that takes you out of presence isn't worth it in your life. So you always want to be present, right? It's usually the thoughts that mess us up. It's not the actual thing itself. So you just remember, you always want to be present. Your affirmation for the day is difficult situations lead to divine solutions. We're going to read from this book. We're going to give you the... Um, affirmation part of it. Uh, you can write this down. You say it out loud. You repeat it. Whatever your soul desires, you just listen to it. But here she goes. I am in the journey of my life and I embrace each moment fully. Each difficult experience is a pathway to greatness within me. I see the divine solutions available in each moment. All setbacks are actually growth and part of my overarching life plan. What obstacle in life has been a detour leading me toward an exciting new path? Is the question for this. So we want to remind you, right? There's always chapters. And then this chapter is how it goes, right? We've, we've decided what we want for our next chapter. And then we're going to be guided into a series of experiences, things we think we, we, we just feel like this, this calling, right? And it's going to be met with a whole bunch of worry and anxiety because that's what we do. We stress about, you know, the uncertain, but it's, it's part of the journey where we're, we just got to practice staying grounded, practice being present, having pra daily practices that help us do that, meditation and exercise, getting outside in nature, eating foods from the earth, because what that does is it allows us to practice being in that energy. It's, it's an energy thing, right? So whatever energy you, you are used to practicing daily and, and, and consistently, that's going to be your main energy. So you, we don't want to practice uh, fear or anxiety or wobble. Fear is just a choice. So if we practice choosing the grounded, connected energy, we get that in our lives. You see, if we practice abundance thoughts, 
even though we might not believe it at the time, if we still practice it, I'm so grateful for this. I'm so grateful for that. I am abundant. Universe is always providing for me. Even if we don't feel it, if we still practice the thoughts, it will, it will manifest itself. It, the energy will start to transmute. You will start to see things from that lens and then you will feel it. You see? So that's why we have to just pretend sometimes at first, but you're going to go through these series of experiences and challenges throughout each journey, throughout each cycle of life. And then when you're done with the experience and you've learned enough, that's when you evolve to the next, uh, to the next situation you see. So in order to get through this rocky, challenging and ungrounded time, make sure that you have daily practices that you can, can connect with your, to yourself with so that you feel confident standing your ground and moving forward on your endeavors right? The nine of pentacles in reverse is here to remind you that you don't want to do anything for the approval of anybody else. It has to be from your own inner knowing of what you desire, of what you want. And, um, this is going to come from, you know, uh, sitting with yourself. Now the champion card is coming up and you notice the little yellow swiggle, right? This is kind of like energy that comes in through the body and emotions come up like that. And so if you're ever feeling really emotional, you know what you can do is you can start humming or singing or anything that can, disconnects you from the emotion you're feeling and brings you back into a present moment. So chanting or again, humming or um, anything that just allows you to release. Because when we attach to emotion, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm feeling so anxious. And then our thoughts start going. Basically, we're not releasing the emotion. We're keeping it stored. And we don't want that to happen for you because then there may be choices that's made off of that emotion as opposed to like your deeper truth. Does that make sense? And so... It's important for us to recognize what you want. Um, and then, and, and not like, you know, I want a million bucks. Okay, well, great and all, but what's the feeling? What, why do you want that money? Why do you, what are you going to do with that money? What's the purpose of it? When you get to the feeling of it, that's when manifestation happened. Cause it's not just words. It's, it's really the feeling, right? And so we want you to really get in tune with how you want your life to feel, what you want your life to feel like when, whether it's for whatever, if it's in relationships, you know, if, how do you want to feel in your relationship? Cause you're going to receive it when you know what, how you want to feel, it's going to show up and you're going to experience it. And you're going to be like, Oh, felt that wasn't what I thought I wanted. Wasn't, it didn't feel quite right. Okay. on to the next thing. What else do you want to feel in your life? Do you know what I mean? But trust that when you say, I want this outcome and it's a higher uh, output solution or, uh, um, outcome than where you currently are. If you're like, I want to make more money or I want to progress or I want to evolve or I want more clients or whatever it is. I want more relationship or strong relationship. You're going to have to go through a series of experiences that are challenging for you in order to be ready for that. You see, so trust the process. If you're feeling anxious and you're feeling nervous and you feel like you just want to control everything again, remind yourself, you want to show up to your endeavors in a uh, grounded energy. So you're going to want to practice that, right? And that's where we offer you um, that everything has an energy. It, nothing is good or bad. Brothers and sisters, nothing is good or bad. That is a label that we put on it based off of society and programming. It doesn't matter what you do, what you spend your time doing. What matters is how you feel while you're doing it. And as you evolve in this game of life, the things that you once felt a calling to and connected to, you probably won't feel like that anymore because it's a different frequency you're in. Neither is good or bad. It's just a frequency from the experience, you see. So we want you to collect data on everything, collect data on the foods you eat. When you eat something and consume something, how does your energy feel afterwards? Do you feel stimulated? Do you feel, do you, do you lose clarity? Do you feel like you're digesting and tired or do you feel alert? Do you feel alive? Do you feel like it enhanced you? Do you feel like it gave you fuel? You know, this is really important for us because everything again plays a huge role. And if you're looking right now in your life to feel nice and grounded and nice and even tempered and nice and calm and connecting to yourself, most most likely eating like sugar and processed foods and, and excess carbohydrates probably won't serve you very much, right? Because that's a lot of energy. And when we have a lot of energy in the body, it's difficult for us to be still and connect, right? So it's just about understanding what energy you need for the time, for the circumstance, for the purpose, and then matching that, free, that energy of how you want to feel to choices. And then again, the problem lies when we're attached to something. Well, if I, I'm used to doing it this way, but this will give me a better result, but this is what I'm used to. That's where the problems always lie, right? So then you can go through the journey of detaching and recognizing, you know, what's best served for that energy and for that time. 
Universe's message for you. Most people are just trying to survive. This message says, just remember, most people are so beguiled by your charm, awed by your confidence, and inspired by your choices, they simply forget to say thank you, please, and I love you like crazy as often as they feel the urge. Let's not be one of those people. Now remember, right? It's it's true, right? Everyone is 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 in their own world and they interpret what they see through the lens of their own movie. And that's why we really can't connect to what other people are doing ever because it doesn't make any sense for us and it takes us away from our own knowing. So we really just have to remember that when we claim our, comp our, our independence and we start to do things that are feeling on purpose for us, right? And the biggest one is, well, what energy do I want to feel in this situation, right? How do I want to feel walking into this situation? And then matching the choices with that energy, we start to take our life back. We start to reclaim our power and we start to feel um, on purpose. And that's a really good place to start at this time in your life. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there are messages in here for you. And if there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.